feel like the six million dollar man. I got a brand new eye. The Bionic Man, that's what it's the kind of six million dollar man. The Bionic Man. I remember watching that when I was a kid. Uh, but my eye feels good. I feel good. I feel good. James Brown must have been quite a dude, you know. All his songs say good stuff. I feel good, you know. I look good, you know. Um, here's where we're at. I lost my brain for a second. Here's where we're at. I've cut the doors open. I've cut the top off of this. We did that yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a blur. That was, that's no joke with the eye and the door. Just because I didn't get, I didn't get time to think it over. Uh, I didn't get time to think it over. I just cut it open and this is what we have. Uh, now I've had the night and the day and a little bit of the morning to think about it. Now I sort of know what I want to do and what I have to do. Uh, there was a lot of, lot of good comments everywhere on YouTube, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. On the, on the door, the way, it shaped this, the way it's shaped there right now, I don't know when the door is hinged, will it hit this front piece? And I, I think it will. Um, we have a 48 fleet line. We haven't driven for a while. We've got it stored down there. The door has a kick out on, on that. I could go down and take a look at that and see how that one works. Uh, we had a message, or was it a message sent to us? It was an email that was sent to us, do a, what kind of hinge was that called again? A swing away hinge. And I think that, that the hinge that he sent, or the idea that he sent, would work. I, I really do. It's called the swing away hinge. Uh, I should draw it, maybe. It looks like, uh, what can I say? Hinges like this, one like that, and then one there, and one like that. So it would hinge there, the door's in here, and that swings, swings it out further, I guess. It, that would bring it out like this, and then like that. When you open the door, it would t it's called a swing out hinge? Swing away, swing away hinge. Uh, if you have a chance, take a look. I think that would work. It was, it's a swing away hinge. We tried to look for one this morning. Uh, we could not find one. But I can make one far as that goes of what we have, probably will. Uh, but anyways, right now, the swing away hinge it seems like it'd be a great idea for that. Also, when I cut it off and I looked at it and I'm thinking, wow, well, should check out and see if the windows work, I should. <laughs> I should check and see that works because what I have done, um, I've only got this much room for the window to come down. And basically, if I want to know if I can cut the door off, I want to know if I can cut the door off to the bottom where I weld the skin on. I sort of, I sort of would like to cut that door off, not on this side, but under, cut this door off underneath here. I want to cut all that skin away and then make something there so it meets the skin out here. I just want to refab it so it looks different. I want to cut this off and refab it so it comes in and connects on this one. I'll cut the access of this stuff off before I do that. I cut it all off. So I'm, you can see what I'm doing there, baby. Can you see what I was talking about? I want to cut all this away and cut this off. I know where it's welded. I'll just score it and then rip it off. But I'll cut all this away. And I want to fab the bottom starting from here somewhere and then come around. And then weld the lip together on the door. That's basically it. So now I was looking at the window. I've got to have at least 12 inches for the window. And I've got 15, so... We're good, you know, we're good for the window. We got enough room for the window. And all that stuff I didn't, I more or less didn't think about until I got it off. Uh, it was kind of a, like I said, it was kind of a blur yesterday. That's not a pun, that's really it. I didn't know what was going on. But right now I know what I've got to do. I've got to cap this. I've got to put a little piece of metal in here to fill this, this uh, door post, this the A pillar I guess, connect this a little better on the firewall. You can see how this two by, two by one is sitting on that ledge of the firewall so it can't go down when it's welded to the post on either side. Now I'm just going to fill that in. Now I've just looked and seen, I got some square stock over there. I'll lay a couple pieces of square stock on that and weld that up just so it's more secure. That's all. Uh, basically that's about it. Secure that A pillar better. Um, then I'm going to weld a piece from here all the way around here and up to that door post there. It's Saturday and uh, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better. Yesterday wasn't such a, wasn't a fantastic day just because of the eye. But the eye feels like the, I feel like the bionic man. I got a new eye and I feel better.
Jolene looks amazing this morning. We had good company this morning. I get a bit rough sometimes, but try to do my my health and safety a little bit better. Try to. Square stock. Piece right here. I just want to fill that, that gap in and make it look half decent there. That's all. And I really I'm really, really, really happy about the the door hinge that Buddy sent because that gives me <laughs> that takes a lot, little bit of stress away trying to figure out if that's going to work or not. With that hinge that he's talking about, I'm sure that I can make it work. Pretty sure. Pair of gloves on. Bump, bump. Get my knee pads on. Sorry, baby, I'm running around in circles. Sorry. Sorry, baby, got me a new pair of sneak sneaks, huh? Young fella come home from school. Said he needs a pair of sneakers for Jim. Tell Jim to get his own sneakers. <laughs> Tell Jim to buy his own sneakers. We're going to do this. I want a pair of gloves. Cleaning up yesterday, as you can tell. Cleaning up yesterday. I've got a bunch of stuff moved out of here. Got the engines moved over there. It takes time to do that sort of stuff. Got underneath the, the brake cleaned up. Got some more stuff cleaned up over there. After a while, I have my shop back. And I, you know, it's my own fault when I get piling stuff in here and piling stuff in here. And I'm, I'm that kind of guy think, well, do I need it? Should I throw it out? Do I need it? Should I throw it out? And then I throw it out. <laughs> you know how it goes. Or that's how it goes. Just going to throw a little piece in here. Just going to do it without doing the old measuring stick thing. Just so I can get it the length I want. I'm just going to throw a couple pieces of square stock in there and double it up and weld it in. And that's the end of it. And that's what it's for, just to support. On the other side, I'll ha I will do something else on the firewall side, but that's when I'm in there, I'll do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stack them up in there. <laughs> I'm going to weld that right along there like that. Close that in. That's the metal I have. I'm just trying to connect that to that. We're going to bury that with this, with the foot, because the post is way over here, so we're going to end up burying it anyways. You're not going to see it, but that metal there is going to hold that. Yes, it is. Uh, this is the 221. The welder's dug out here. Good day to get something done, you know. Saturday, your day off. Good day to get something done. The best thing, the best thing I find is uh, try not to get into any sauce before dinner hour. <laughs> or at least supper time maybe. Don't get into any sauce and that way there you get something done during the day. Then you can sit back and say, look what I got done. And then have a good time. Alrighty. Yep, the young fella said, you want me to sign your, sign your wall? And I said, sure, that was cool. Then the Yorkie signed it, it was good. Now I know their names. Six, C and six, helmet. Yep, the bionic man. That was, that was big when I was a kid, the bionic man. Made you feel like you could do things that you probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Then they come out with Astron, the one that could rip his arm off, but could put it, could put it back on, but you can't. 
All righty, I'm going to weld that in there. As Sean Doyle would say, that would be the guy that looked at most stuff here at one time, uh, safety never takes a break. And that's very true. Safety does not take a break. And generally, I must say, like, you know, I got a piece of metal in my eye. That's pretty obvious. That's going to happen once in a while. But um, I'm pretty, I'm generally trying to be safe as I can. I'm a little rough sometimes. I guess, the, I guess probably the only thing, you know, I don't know. Thinking that you're younger than you really are is probably your biggest fault. Um, pushing and pulling and grunting and that sort of stuff probably could get me in more trouble than not being safe because I do not want to get hurt or underneath anything and have it fall on me or cut my hand. No, I do not want to do that. So I generally try to be pretty good. Pretty good. All right, just going to slide that in there and weld it on that post. Oh, pushed them away. I don't like how that's burning off. Oh, there's nothing there, that's why. Trying to fill in there. Got it. This is just support for that post, closing that hole up. And I used what I had over there, and uh, it'll be fine. Gonna bury it. <laughs> Got a fire? Alrighty. That's the stuff that was inside the door that we scraped off that was holding Aiden up from doing whatever. So we got our, our hole closed up there. Now we're going to bury it. Does not matter what's going on there anymore. Not to me, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Not to me, it doesn't. Alrighty. I'm going to take the flapper wheel, just knock off anything that I don't want there. I think I'm going to grind it up this high. I'm going to grind it up that high because I'm going to take and cap it that far. I'm going to cap it that far. Just kind of wondering what I'm doing there yet because this is, I'll show you. I know I'm cutting the bottom of the door off close to that. So I know I should be able to Come in there close to that because it's not going to come down that far. Um, let's, let's, let's start by making a piece. And how I'm, how I'm going to make a piece for this is I already took this piece and showed you yesterday. I just shoved it in there. It's actually not 
a bed length. I think we'll need, well, as, the, as I see the length there right now, we've got, I got, I'm down there at least an inch, at least an inch, and I've got over here probably, I'm gonna get it down in there to make a true read. Down there an inch. We're gonna have to add two inches onto this piece. The length, I'm glad I had that because it just folded, told me the length, so I can just lay it down the ground, measure it, and add two inches. Um, now, I'm going from the post out to here, and I'm just gonna cap that, just go right around that. We'll, we'll do it together. I'm gonna at least need, well, to get that on this side, I want at least an eight, at least eight inches wide. And from here, I'm seeing that, come over, if you wanna go on the other side, baby. If you wanna go on the other side. You can see eight sorta of doesn't, doesn't cut it, sort of, on this side, because we're in there a little bit. So at least, I think, I think we're gonna go in nine and a, nine and a half, just because um, I wanna put that in there, and then I can trace it off after. Nine and a half. No, I'm taking the largest measurement, so I know I have enough. That's what I'm doing there. I'm going to lay this flat. I'm going to add two inches to this because I know I'm two, at least two inches shy. We'll just do four feet. Four feet. Four feet by nine and a half. I keep those for a second. Maybe I'll use them. I'm going to plasma cut a piece off this. Four feet by nine and a half. Got to get my marker back. Sorry, sweetheart. You just keep it right there and go over to the metal because I'll be right there. <laughs> I have to tell you to run a camera, do I? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I find that, yeah. You generally don't have to tell somebody. They already know, especially when they do it. The camera person do the camera job, let the truck driver do the truck driving job, and let the body man do the body man job, you know, sort of thing, you know, I guess. That's the way you have to do it. Nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half. Check three times, people did. Check three times, I did. I'm going to try to blow that off right there with the plasma cutter, and the and the reason is it's too it's too hard to handle that the four by eight sheets are too hard to handle I find well not too hard but just harder to get it flipped and flopped around and and uh, do that so I'll just cut it right there round and around we go do si do. Stretch this out. Cool. I'm going to move the tail lights. Haven't found a nice safe spot for them bad boys yet. I will right now. Put them on the on the wooden floor instead of the cement floor. They'll be fine. Fina, it's good there. Let's plug this in. Yep, Fina smiles, you know. I can tell when Fina smiles, she looks at me. I can tell that she's smiling, or she looks like she's smiling anyways. She usually gets a pat for it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a ruler. So I can stick it on there and hold it so I can get a straight line. That'll help me. Also a pair of needle nose pliers to help me hold it. Everybody needs help. And I need vice grips. <clears throat> Not quite four feet. Guess it doesn't matter. the other end seems twisted for some reason but that doesn't matter to me I gotta get my gloves on 
that's this right there. <clears throat> Be a nice piece. I'll have to cut it off in length. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll get it over there first, I guess, and then we'll know. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do where the post kicks out, kicks in. Don't know if I'm going to burn the wall or not. But. I'm just hoping that I can cut it fast enough that I don't hurt anything. What happened there? Did I cut it? Yeah, I cut it. Left a little tinge. Didn't hurt nothing, I don't think. Pull this out of here. See now, if I had to get that sheet of metal, if I had to get that sheet of metal, get off. <laughs> if, I had to get the, if I had to get the sheet of metal, pick it up, put it on a bench, take it over to the, try to get it over to the shear, try to get a couple people to jump on it, eh, just cut her against the wall, I guess. That's what I like the plasma, or the plasma cutter for. It does leave that rougher. You know, it's benefits in one way, and then the benefit doesn't work in the other way. Like, now I have to knock the slag off it, right? So, it's either either or, I guess. That didn't leave no slag on the Harley at all, which is a great thing. I'm going to rub it off with the sander wheel, because it's <clears throat> don't really have to. Not going to, and I'll tell you why. Because I'll use the cut edge out. I'm going to trim it off, off anyways. No sense in me doing that. Wasting my time. I want to lay it in here. Lay it in here. And look at what I want to do here is. Uh, same distance on either side, I'm thinking. So what I'll just, I'm just guessing. I'm going to guess that one. I'm going to guess that one. So that means that. I'm going to round, start the round right there, and I'm going to start the round there on that end right there. Let's pull it down and take the tape measure for shits and giggles and see where we are. I think that one's longer on that side, but I want to just, just, just do it for me. Just do it for me. I guessed, and let's see how far we're off. Nine inches. Ten inches. I'm going to go half an inch. Can't go any further than that. Half an inch. That wasn't so bad. That didn't hurt my ego much. It's only an inch. Half inch either way. So you're really only a half a half inch, right? Because I only have to move it half an inch to keep the other half inch. So I'm just going to take it over to the Winfield station here. I could put it in the roller over there, couldn't I? I think the Winfield station has, if I can get it down in there that far, yeah. Oh, that roof thing again. Nope. I'm going to do it this way, just nice and easy. Also, look at this now, hey. I have a cylinder tank here. You could take that cylinder tank. And do the exact same thing, laid over cylinder tank and bend it. All I'm doing is bending a piece of metal. That's what I'm doing, just bending a piece of metal. I'm gonna take a look here. I'm gonna take a look. You know what I can't, I can't do? I can't see. I can't see! You know what you say to somebody that can't see? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. That's what I always said, open your eyes. 
just trying to put it on the line. Trying to find my line. There's my line. And uh, let's do a little bend in it. Oh, well. It wasn't so hard, was it? I don't know if I bent the bend, bend the right way. That out of my eyes. <laughs> Blinding me. Now, here we see. I think I got that up too far. I think I got that up too far. That's what I'm thinking. Not too hard to bend, so we can bring it back. Leave the light right there for now. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta go on the other side of the line. See, this is the point where, this is the difference right here. See how it goes on here? What am I gonna do there? I'll probably end up splitting it here somewhere, probably, and pushing that in, making a gracial. Gotta do this different. That wasn't so hard. Wasn't so, wasn't so bad, eh? Wasn't so bad. Just made a mistake. Yeah, I don't even know half of what I know if I didn't make mistakes. Half of what I know. Let's try it again. And if it doesn't work this time, we'll do it again. And again, and again. The reason I like that one in there, instead of using the roller, ah, Jay. Gonna do it again. <clears throat> gonna do both again. I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. If I don't, I'll do it again. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> All righty. Cool. What I'm going to do is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on just in a couple places and then I'm going to try to get some marks on it to make the piece that we want. I'm going to tack it in a couple places. Yeah. Door handle's off. We're going to hook that bugger. Lay it on like that. Alrighty, get my glasses. Did I take my glasses down there, did I? In my pocket. Turn the welder on. Just gonna try to stick it in there the tight as I can and make it stay there. What I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do for, for starters, is I'm gonna bring it in flush with this post. I want it flush with that post. Right there, I want it flush with that post. But I want it down tight with the, this. Just gonna tack it. I think I'm gonna tack it right there because it's easiest. Nope, I'm gonna tack it right. Too hard. I can get a zip cut in there. Now I've got it lined up on this post. Now I'm just gonna line up on the back post. It's just metal. And we can push it and make it go where we, you know. 
Try to push it and make it go where you want. Yeah. Yeah. Weld between my legs. <laughs> That's not what I need. All right. Just sort of want to get that in there flat. And if I can tack it on back here somewhere, that's where I am going to tack it on. I'm going to get, uh, I've used the third arm, I guess. I don't really want to dent it. But I want to put it in there. It's kind of got an odd shape to it. We're going. Hey. Don't want the metal in my face, but I gotta do what I gotta do to get it done here. Alrighty. Gotta get a little get a little get a little more creative, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Down nice and tight. Get that in there a little right. Just gonna put a couple pairs of C clamps on it. Need help. Need help. Put it down. Maybe a lot higher than it needs. I'm not going to cut it off or anything. See, there's the, what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to cut it there, lay that one in. We'll see what happens. That's fitting down there, fitting down there, weld that down there. Going to have to stretch that a little bit there and hit that. Oh, hit that. You can see I got a little tiny gap going on right there. So that's. You know, I'm going to get it down in there, but I'm thinking that the metal will stretch or I can push it. Yeah, I can push it down in there. That's fine. All right, basically what I'm going to do now is get my, take it back off. We're going to mark it, uh, mark what I want, and then stick it back on. And we'll have this top part capped. And then we'll come in this side and take a look. How's oh, I am. I want this bent up, up a little bit further. See, it's laying, see this piece, I want this kind of flat going on. This one's kind of nice. This one was laying in a little bit, so I'm just hauling up on it. Just bending the weld a little bit. That's all I'm doing, bending her in. So, I'm going to cut it off at that point. And this is the shape I want it. Yeah, it's coming off. All right, and coming over here. I just, I'm just looking at the top of this right there, and I marked it off over here, the top of that. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Look at the top of this and mark it off. That's where I want it cut off. And then this is the shape I want. And when I cut it off, if it's not right on the money, that's the time I get out the old flapper wheel and sand it back and get it in place. What I'm saying. Okay. We're going to snap that off and cut that. On the inside, on the inside, maybe I do that too, I guess. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll cut this, this, this part off, cut the top off, cut the top off, get this part going, and then I'll run some tape after and take a zip cut and cut that off, or the plasma cutter or whatever, but I think that's what I'll do first. I'll just pop this off. Oh. I'm bad for it. Trying to get things done. I'm bad for it. I'll walk on your lights, one oh baby.
I'm bad for it. All right, let's get this off. Flapper wheel take off the little touches of weld. Oh, hot! Woo! That got hot on the other side, the old grinder. All right, you see what I got going on here? See what I got going on here? Um, plasma cutter, grinder. How do I want to cut that? Just gonna zip cut it. I think it's gonna. I think it'll be easier. And there's a little less chance of messing up. A little less, not much, but a little. All right. I don't like cutting things with a zip cut much. They're just dirty and <laughs> they're just dirty and barks and plasma cutter. I like. Yeah. Doesn't matter what I like. Get it done. Do this first.
right? Alrighty, that was dirty. Wait a baby. Ha ha ha. All right. This is coming out here. Got to go this way. Ooh. Ooh, I like it already. Ooh. I like it already. Just got to remind myself that I cut the inside off after. And the reason I'll wait for the inside, because I'm not sure what I want it to look like yet. Not sure what I want it to look like yet. But I know one thing for sure. I want it flush on the outside here. So we're going to start the welder up and uh, put it on. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. See if I tacked it where I tacked it before. I should be able to maybe get it right on. Just not sure. I'm gonna do this right here. The little bitty one. See? Yeah, see? No, not see. Just take a look here first. Just want to fit in here the best I can before I weld it on. Alrighty. Let's do this part. That's what I'm going to do. This is fitting out here. The widest point. I'm going to go right and I zap it over here. It's tight. I'm going to zip that off and go from that point, I think. All right. Can't go in too far. Can't go just far enough. Wow. Want to get that level coming out. Where is that friendly little level that someone acquired us? There she be. I just push it on. Stay there, will it? Nope. It's not. Thank you for the level. We appreciate it. I love my baby. Don't I, baby? I love you. I love my baby. Hmm. Nope. Down, down. Okay. That's fine. Which ways? Up. Yeah. So I need to go down on this side. All right. Cool. Ouch. Right in my glove. Uh, right in the glove. There we go. Now, just gonna, I'm just going to apply that on. Now, we're lucky up here. Good and lucky. Or I think it's lucky. And you know what they say, you've got to be good to be lucky. That's what I say anyways, you've got to be good to be lucky. Because that makes you part of the good, doesn't it, when you're lucky. Ah, come on now. Alrighty, I'm going to have to bang that in there a little bit, I guess. Alrighty, so what's going on here is, I showed over here on the post. Get my trusty thing out again here. I want it out there. Ah. Anyways, I play with that and play with that. But it's right to the edge right there. I just got enough. 
the metal right to the edge of that that's what i want it and we gotta go back i want to go back to the edge of this one i got something to cut off that one to make the straight line some see gotta be good to be lucky is what i'm trying to say i'm going to i'm going to stick that on so that does not move just stick it on right here Tacked up there, look. Corner. Now, I want to tack it on this side. Beautiful. Just going to tack it here so we can't turn in. Going to move these up, clamp it tight so I can get a top tight on it. Should stay where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to rock it on right there. Alrighty. I want to push that on the corner of that. to split this, run it in there. Why I'm going to split that is because I've got a gap going on there. That's where the door goes in there. I'm going to split that. How far down? Eh. Far down as I think, I guess. Split this one. Kind of slide it in, see what happens. See what happens. All this stuff, this access on here, if it's not, can I say, uh, this is how I'd like to weld it in. This, this part right here, see this part right here, baby? Come look at this spot. See how, see how the metal is there and the metal is there? Then I can weld right there and weld the metal together. If I start laying it over like that, I just tacked it on there because I need to tack it on. If I, like this right here, if I start tacking it on like that, when I grind the metal down, when I grind the weld off, I'll be grinding all the weld off that holds that on there. So I'll basically be looking for it. I'm going to feather that back to it's almost a 45 where the metal comes together. I'm going to hit that right there because it fits too good. And that's basically the reason. And I will sand that back to that fits. Let's cut this. I just watching on the inside, I could see it where the blade was going down beside the post. Tack it on. And tack this side on. Then I see I weld this down here. I grind that back, weld that down there, and then weld that in there. And there's not going to be. There's not going to be the door coming down here, so it's really not going to affect anything. The skin's going to be, the skin is what's going to look good. Doesn't matter what it looks like inside the door. It's what it looks like on the outside. As long as the gap's all good, doesn't matter what it looks like in there. No one would even notice. I don't think. Push 
that in there. Don't push too hard. Chatty. Just having a little hard time. Just wanted to hit it where it was 45. That's basically the end of it. Alrighty. Now, this will be some, actually, I haven't got the other side welded up. This will be some really good learning for Aiden for welding, but welding that together on the edge. You know, it's a little, what can I say, a little more delicate, um, a little more delicate, and uh, I think he should try it. This is lap welding. There's two different things, lap welding and your butt welding on an edge. I like the ear protection. I like the ear protection. Just never wore it much, eh? When you're grinding, try to grind the metal, like instead of trying to go this way, and you hit it, pow, tear your metal off. Try to grind the metal going down towards something so you don't rip your metal off. Don't want to take off the weld yet because that's what's holding it. I just want a 45 back everywhere where it's not holding it. all that off. I'll zip it off. Then we come along here and butt weld that all in. If I can't hold myself back or contain myself, I might do it. But I really feel like that's a perfect job for Aiden. Uh, I can weld the other side. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Just going to cap that off. We'll run a piece of tape on here on the inside, make it the shape we want to. We can run a piece of metal underneath that maybe to, you know, make that stronger. Because this side, remember this side's on, but this side's not on yet. Uh, yeah, so I have to get on the inside and see what's going on. I'm not going to do that the very second. You can see the reason why I put them two pieces of square stock in there because I can't get at it anymore. And it's welded. I know there's something there holding it. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just had to do the job. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all the good comments and all the good things, man. Like, I have, I have to sometimes reflect on things. And when nice people come in like they did this morning and, you know, make us smile and make us laugh and have good conversation, uh, Malcolm, he... he Hey, bad Chad, how about taking me a ride from this 62, he said. Just, a, you know, a young guy, 60, it was quite funny, actually. He took me back. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so that's how I'm capping that. I think we're going to get what the hinges are called, pull away, swing away hinges. I think that's a great idea. The window's going to fit. If, you know, we get to that point, the window's going to fit. That really looks nice to me, how that's capped off there. You know, it looks nice and round and does the job. Uh, we will know, we'll sort of know when we start getting this and stuff in here where the floor is going because we can put the floor in anywhere we want to, put it way down there. We could drive it standing up if you want to, right? <laughs> can if you want to. Um, we're just building what we want because we can. And uh, we're not doing it for any other reason other than we're building it because we want to. And I'm only do what my brain tells me to do and uh, it's going well. That looks good. We are going to have probably four five sheets of metal in this thing and that's five nice sheets of metal and not all beat up with a hammer but all welded in and 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 made panels out of it basically once you get on to making panels then you're then you're really rocking and rolling do we want to give away a hat or a shirt Is that hat or a shirt let's give away a hat or a shirt jolene's looking mighty fine today 
I was thinking that that looks good, but Jolene looks better. Come on, baby, let's get the giveaway hat or shirt. Give baby got me some new shoes to walk in. I got a new eye. Thank you very much. I feel like the bionic man. I got a brand new eye. Uh, maybe tomorrow you come back. Maybe we'll cut the bottom of the door off and make the skin to make the door. So the door, you know, once we get the skin made for the door, we got the opening now. Once we get the skin made, then, then we can go for the hinge and then we can go for the gusto. Have a good Saturday, everybody. Hope you get something done that makes you happy. And if you don't, get it tomorrow. Right? Get it. Get it. Get on it. Me and Jolene watched the, the talk I had with the Middleton school kids. And uh, I watched it last night. And uh, everything that I said... Is hard to live up to and I try and, and it's only just trying to make good decisions but everything I said I've, I've sat there and I watched it and I listened and I said wow it's hard to live up to that sometimes you know uh, sometimes you fail and you go backwards but listen you know while you're here do the best you can and uh, you're only as happy as your health and if you are healthy you damn well should be happy that's the way I see it 1143 wow that's the most yet wow if you're healthy, you should be happy. Russ Landon. Doors off. Now we can get an idea how Chad is going to do the inside. You're exactly right. You get to see a little more today, actually. And uh, you get a hat or a shirt of your choice. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your comment. I appreciate 1,143 comments that come in. I appreciate it. Let's, let's keep rocking and rolling, and I'll just keep rocking and rolling. You motivate me, I motivate you. We'll do it together. Signing off. I love you, Jolene.